final sweet day. A wedding dress hangs idly in a large bay window. Engulfing the window are flowers of soft pinks and warm yellows. In the corner stands a bride, Varsi, 20s, a tall and reserved brunette who is checking off a list with authority. Surrounding her, uh, are a, surrounding her are her mixed match group of bridesmaids, including best friend Tara, early 30s, bright red hair with a Botox-filled face, her school friend Perry, late 20s, blonde and innocent, and her sister Chrissy, early 30s, with bleach blonde, highlighted hair, and stuck in the early 2000s. The girls are fixing themselves in the mirror when suddenly Ja Rule-like music begins to play. Time to step this pussy party up a notch! Tara turns the volume on the stereo. Tara! My parents are in the other room. Turn it down. Why, are you afraid your white as shit parents are going to find out their 29-year-old white as shit daughter likes black as shit rap music? Whoa. Oh, that's me. Uh, black as shit rap music? Tom's mother is African-American, Tara. She could take offense to that. Are you deaf? This is the blackest shit I've ever heard. Oh, Jesus. I'm talking to myself now. Tara! Well, it is. I'm not saying it's not dope, though. It's dope as shit. But I'll, it'll turn down... But I'll turn it down, Ellen DeGeneres. Wait. How the fuck does that make sense? Ellen DeGeneres. Because she's white as shit. If, if there was one single white female who wouldn't want you to turn down a beat in the morning, it would easily be Ellen D. How do you figure that? How do I figure that? Have you ever watched her show? No, I just watch her YouTube clips. So, what you're trying to tell us is that you've never seen the Ellen DeGeneres fucking dance. Never. Hey, Perry, pipe up. What's your two cents on this dancing Ellen shit? I have no words. Well, give me the fucking laptop. I refuse to let anyone be a part of my sister's wedding day if it's 2014 and they haven't seen Ellen DeGeneres dance. Interior, groom suite. Barcy's father, John, 50s, a short, desperate man, is dancing up to Tom, her husband-to-be. Tom, late 20s, muscular built, jock style, as John grabs him from his waist from behind. Tommy boy! daddy -o. You ready for your big walk, buddy? Say goodbye to your freedom, one woman, for the rest of your life? So glad that I'm finally gonna have a son. You already have a son, Klein? Well, yeah, yeah, uh, Klein is technically a male, but I mean like a real man son like you. Football player, stock, handsome, rugged, straight. John, I've been meaning to talk to you. I feel like you can't talk to anyone else about this. They won't understand, but I know you will. Hey, I'm your man. Tell me anything, champ. No judgment here. We're in the penalty box. All right, John. I'm just going to say, I cheated on your daughter. With who? Gabrielle. I knew it. I knew you were a little butt buddy, just like my real son. You make me sick. Gabriel? Who, who is he? Some little queer from Kentucky? Huh? How dare you? What the fuck are you talking about? Gabrielle, the hot chick from the store. You know her, big tits, brunette hair. to do more than stare at our dicks forever. Yeah, yeah. You remembered our rhyme. John stares at Tom. Oh, yeah. I I yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and John stares at Tom for an awkward amount of time. Woo! <laughs> Gabrielle, L, Gabrielle, you really had me there, bud. <laughs> I thought I was going to have another coin on my hands. So, uh, you aren't upset that I cheat on your daughter? Oh, heck no, no, no. The, the most important thing is that you're honest with your boys. And, and because I'm, I'm one of your boys, it's okay. If I wasn't one of your boys, there might be a problem. But I, I'm your boy, because you told me it's cool. I, I, I'm just a boy. I'm, I'm your boy. Cool, so I'm obviously not going to go through the wedding. Besides, you're so cool, I don't think I want you as my dad. You're my boy, not my dad. And I don't want that to change. Me either. Never. All right. Uh, what? No, 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 John. We have lots of time for biscuit sticks or slippy kitties or whatever. But right now, you are Barcy's dad. 
So we need to be a solid. So we need to be solid because we're boys. Of course, of course, yeah, we're we're boys, we're boys. Right. So, you know, me and my twin girl, right? Liam. Of course, of course, Liam's good peeps. Okay, so Liam is going to be standing at the end at the end of the aisle where I would stand. I feel bad about this. this ugh, I feel bad about this entire thing. So I'm going to give Bars here a dream of walking down the aisle, even if we didn't have our happily ever after. You feel me, John? Do I feel you? I feel you more than Demi Moore felt Swayze's ghost. Tom looks perplexed as he faced John. Right. So, boss plan. I'll walk Varsity down the aisle, and then we'll catch up later. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, just, just one question for you, though. Shoot. Can you still call me Dad sometimes? Exterior of church, afternoon. The church pews are filled with people waiting for the bride to walk down the aisle. The bridesmaids slowly walk down the aisle. As they arrive at the altar, they begin to notice something unusual. Why isn't Tom up there? What do you mean Tom isn't up there? I don't know. Where is he? He's supposed to be up here. Liam is standing where Tom is supposed to be. That's Tom, Barry. No, it's actually not actually. Liam wore the blue tie and Tom is wearing the pink one. I want in on this one. What did Tom Betty, Petty do this time? Tom Petty did nothing. Perry fought Liam for pretending to be Tom. Oh yeah! That's not Tom. It's Liam. There are points at Perry. Pet sounds is right. I told you. Pet sounds? You can't make up nicknames for people at the top of a hat. It has to make sense. Whatever, kitty cat. Stop it! Now how do you know that's Liam? I'm the sister-in-law. I can't tell these douchebags apart. Because I just blew him, and he said he was going to be standing in for Tom because he's not going to marry Varsity. What are you talking about? He's standing in for Tom. Yes, I understand that, but why are you choosing to share that information only when it was whittled out of you? I don't know. I just thought that was a BJ excuse. That has never been a BJ excuse in the history of BJs. You make a strong case, Perry Winkle Blues. Did you stop with the nicknames? Chrissy directs her attention to Liam. Liam? So? Are you standing in for Tom? Um, yeah. Why? Well, Tom isn't marrying Marcy. He's been banging on hot chick Gabrielle. So Tom isn't coming? What the hell is your plan when she walks up the aisle to get married? Are you, are you marrying her? I guess I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh. Uh, just tell her and leave, I guess. Oh, Christ. Tom isn't coming, is he? No. What the fuck are we going to do? She's going to be walking down the aisle any minute. I knew there was a reason I bought this up. Tara, stop it. The priest is staring. This is going to be the least of his worries in a few minutes. Chrissy pulls out a flask. She takes a drink. Pass it down. I can't take this. Are you seriously swigging liquor right now? Puff, puff, pass, Perry Sound. We need to go. She's right. Besides, we have more liquor in the suite. Yeah, and I want to watch more Ellen clips. As the girls begin to walk down the aisle, here comes the bride begins to play. The priest instructs everyone to stand up and announces. What the fuck are we going to do? I don't know, but I'm out of liquor, so we need to think of something quick. I'm talking about Varsity. Right. I think we're pretty much fucked. We just have to ride it out. Fuck this. I'm not letting Varsity walk down the aisle. She deserves to know. Are you guys with me? You're right. Let's go. Come on, Tara. Tara blows a kiss to Liam. Ladies and gentlemen, take your spots on the right side immediately. But immediately. No. Marcy is met with her bridesmaids in the middle of the aisle. What the fuck are you guys doing? Go back to your spots. You're ruining this whole goddamn day. You are fucking this up. You don't understand, Marcy. What could possibly be important enough for you to do this? Crispy, or sorry, Chrissy whispers into Varsity's ear, telling her that Liam is at the end of the aisle and that Tom isn't coming. Varsity is horrified, her entire body freezing up. Varsity, let's go. Tom cheated on me. It's Liam, Dad. He's not there. I know. What? What the fuck do you mean you know? You know that Tom wasn't going to be there? Well, yeah, I, Tom tells me everything. We're boys now. I don't give a shit if you are boys, Dad. I'm your daughter, and it's my wedding day. Well, well that, that, that's why I did it, sweetie. Let you have your dream, walk down the aisle, even if it wasn't your happy ever after. 
What the fuck did you just say? This not only ruined my dream, but created a nightmare. How on earth do you not have enough common sense to realize this was a massive fuck up? Are you mad? Am I mad? Of course I'm mad. Well, you, you are mad at Tom, are you? Of course I'm mad at Tom. I can't believe you let your rock hard boner for Tom get in the way of me being your daughter. Wait, you can see my boners? Marcy storms off down the aisle. The patrons are in shock. Echoes of oohs and ahs fill the church pews. Fade to black. Interior, Chrissy's apartment, afternoon. The walls are covered with calligraphy covered wallpaper. The decor of the room is dated with music icons of the 2000s framed and scattered throughout the walls. The apartment is obviously in more lower class and everything is a mess. The bridesmaids are sat on a dirty couch as they play Scrabble. Plan B. It's got to be the full term for it. Okay, well, what's the full term for it? I got it. Chrissy adds letters which spell out plan baby. It means baby? That's kind of twisted. I don't think it does, but it's close enough for me. Okay, my turn. Perry spells out Scrabble on the board. Scrabble? Scrabble is not a word, Perry. You just used Plan Baby as a word. And beside that, of course it's a word. It's the name of the game. Use it in a sentence. I'm playing, I'm with my friends playing Scrabble. Today for breakfast, I eat scrambled eggs. <laughs> Wait, are you agreeing with her on this? Yeah, because it's a word. Hold on. Do you think Scrabble and Scrambled are the same word? No. It's just like a different tense of the word. Like, scrabble is the single pro adjective, and scramble is like the present verb tense. It's like the same word, just the tense just like changes depending on the time of game. Stop. I'm too buzzed to even tackle what you just said, but I'll allow it. This game is dog shit anyway. Yeah. Wait, where's Marcy? She said she was on her way like... Barry is pointing to empty bottles of wine, counting them. Three bottles ago. Marcy bursts through the door. Marcy's hair is dyed, bleached blonde, and cut drastically short. Hello, ladies! You look so different. I know, right? I was sitting sucking in this horrible bath of negativity and sorrow, and out of nowhere I just realized that I have to stop feeling sorry for myself and start being positive. I needed to change. So I went to Desi, and here I am, a new woman. Do you guys like it? Everyone slowly nods, slowly. You can tell by their body language that they are not impressed with Varsi's new look. Being the good friends they are, they try their best to compliment her. It's a new you. Wicked sick. An awkward silence fills the room. Chrissy can't hold it in anymore. You look like a monster. What? I'm not going to bullshit you, Mark. You look outrageously desperate. I'm happy. I'm making a positive step forward. Shut up. I'm not falling for it. I hate when chicks do this. Your new drastic short haircut isn't going to change everything that's shitty in your life. She's right, Marcy. You talked shit about Lila for months when she got that pixie cut. Yeah, but Lila's pixie cut did not complement her bone structure, and she only did it to prove to the world that Kyle dumping her whore ass didn't bother her. They're pulling a Lila. Oh my god, I am pulling the Lila Copperfield. Marcy slowly hunches onto a couch and starts to cry. What have I done? The girls crowd around Marcy as she breaks down. My hair is gone! That's what wigs are for. I don't want to wear a wig! Well, hold on now. It's not a full wig, just like a, a lot of extension. Anyways, everyone wears a wig. Selena Gomez wears, Kim Kardashian. Cher? All the greats. You just gotta deal with the fact that your life is shitty. Stop this positivity bullshit, just drink it away. We're going out. Scene. 